Breaking news, Nandi Kano, Sunday Boho, to listen to Yemi Osibanjo, what he has to say about sectioning. Hello, my wonderful people. Professor Yemi Osibanjo has just woken up and um, I mean, he has been on a very good sleep. He just woken up and is about to address some of the issues, um, you know, prevailing and happening in our society. We know that Nigerian government is not after those who kill. In fact, those ones do not did not commit any crime. Those who adopt, those who do all kinds of criminal activities have not committed any form of crime. The real people who are committing crime in this country are those that are saying Nigeria should divide. The likes of Sunday Boho Nandi Kano. We know as we speak, Nandi Kano is still very much in police custody. Yes, Sunday Boho is in Benin Republic. Uh, we've not really heard from the from the vice president of the country however he's just spoken and he will want to have an audience and uh, people are suggesting that sunday boho and Unani Kanu should listen to what the vice president has got to say uh please don't forget to give us a thumbs up like or share subscribe let's get all the details Nandi Kanu, sunday boho to discuss with yemi osibanjo and hear what he has to say the Vice President of Nigeria, Professor Yemi Osibanjo, is considered as one of the good leaders within the country. He has assisted Buhari in making a lot of good policies that will help Nigeria to develop. Also, Yemi Osibanjo has spoken about many problems and trouble within the country. Recently, Yemi Osibanjo spoke against division of Nigeria and disclosed that Nigeria lost many things in the country if it divides he further revealed that nigeria will remain united despite the activities of some people calling for section yemi osibanjo made this statement while speaking at the national social cohesion dialogue in abuja however nandi khan and sonic boho are two major individuals who have been seeking for the division of nigeria they have told the federal government of Nigeria to give them their own independence. Nevertheless, I believe that Nandi Kano and Sonde Boho should listen to Professor Yemi Osibanjo, have a roundtable discussion with him and air their views and their thoughts and see how they can come into governance and lead and assist. Professor Yemi Osibanjo is ready to listen, as he said, to what they have to say and what they can bring to the table and also help in ensuring that those who are feeling Nigeria should divide are brought together as one. Professor Yemi Osibanjo has given his word saying he will assist and support and ensure that those who are feeling different, those who are feeling Nigeria should divide, should be assisted to come to a place of compromise so that they can give their all and support the nation to be better. This whole session came as a result of the country not working, a lot of challenges. But with these challenges are only a matter of time. They can be put right behind us and we can forge ahead and make some meaningful progress that will better us all and we can be proud of Nigeria again. So that is Professor Emil Siban just speaking. Um, you know, uh, uh, and he's saying that, well, we are, that he's ready to have a discussion with Professor Emil, uh, with Sunday Buho and you know and and the uh, nandi kano to ensure that you know the, there is there is oneness again in his own heart he believes that nigeria can still be one and the people have to work at it it will not jump on them it's a conscious effort people have to work at it they have to be deliberate about it and they have to be intentional and they have to do something to make it work this is his opinion. He feels that Nigeria can still very much be one and he would like to discuss with the likes of Unandi Kano. But again, Professor Mr. Banjo is coming from another angle in the sense that after discussing with him, he would like to understand their grievances. What is it that they have and how can they, those things that they've seen that is making the country not to work together, is ready to now work with them to ensure that those things, you know, that have been tabled, they can now bring their own ideas because I mean, if you look at it, he said they want to form their own nation. Yes. So how can we? You and of course, if you are forming your own nation, meaning that you have better ideas that could possibly make that nation a place for a home for everyone. So how can you bring those ideas to what is on ground? 
bring them to the round table. Let's have a discussion and see how we can now channel those ideas, those discussion to ensure that we bring it to the table and everybody at the end of the day is happy. So it's a win-win. So you see, if we have people like Professor Emil Sibanjo as leaders, yeah, I believe that things would have been much more different if we have somebody like him. But remember that Professor Emil Sibanjo, as, I mean, is a vice president, but he's been given appointment by Buhari. Mm. Buhari is the one who gives him appointment. He does not just, you know, walk at free will and just include his mouth into matters of national concerns. No, 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 he doesn't do that. Buhari has appointed him to look into the economy. So every other thing is supposed to turn a blind eye. It's not supposed to pay attention to any other thing that happens in the country. Sadly, this is where this is how much the professor has been, you know, reduced to with all the wealth of experience he has that he could bring to the table and possibly channel the course of the narrative. Uh, he's been reduced to just, you know, do as I say. What's the next job of action? What's the next thing you need to do? This is what I've appointed you to do. And this is what you should do. And go and do this, go and do that. You see, so when we look at it, uh, everybody, we all need to come on board and decide really what will really work for us. Because looking at the whole narrative and all that is happening, we all need to get on it that truly and truly speaking, if things must change, then everybody must work at it. And uh, change is for everybody. Every single person must surely and sincerely work at it. That's the only way for us to get this change. That's the only way. Because if we if we leave it to some people and say, and they will be the one to talk to the president, don't be, don't be, don't be deceived. How many of them have really spoken for your for your interest? Let's be very honest here. How many of them has really spoken for the interest of the people? Sadly, very few. Most of them have just spoken for their interest, for their own, you know, mind and for whatever they want. And have not really spoken for the people. Sadly, this is the true situation of things, you see. So unless Nigerians as one, as one people, one entity, we speak and we say enough is enough of the oppression of all that is going on, we want a change. We may not get it. Most of all, we need to pray because these things happen and just just normal. They are not just it's not just a normal occurrence. We need to also really pray about it. Leave us a comment. We'd like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.